You guys, we have a new little one in our family. Oh my goodness. What a crazy pack. I guess, is it now almost 48 hours? I don't even know how long it's been, you guys. I need to get you all caught up. I'm sure so many of you guys have been anxiously waiting. I mean, I have been just dying. I finally have a few minutes I can sit down and talk to you. Good news is, little baby burger has arrived. She is safe, she is healthy, doing well. So is Michelle. That is the good news, just to put everyone's mind at ease. But boy, do we have a story for you. I actually got off the phone with Michelle not too long ago, and she's like filling me in on everything that happened last night. Well, technically this morning. I feel like the days have kind of just blurred together at this point, but she was like, yes, feel free to tell them like how it happened. You guys are so sweet, and she knows so many of you guys have been excited. And so I'll let her give more details later when she is filling up to it. Basically, last you guys saw was last night. They were saying the baby was low enough. They were gonna break her water and expect her to come pretty shortly after that. Broke her water, Michelle was dilating. I think she was almost at an eight and they went to check her at around 3 a.m. And you guys, this little baby had flipped around. And apparently this is really uncommon, especially with a bigger baby. And the nurses were shocked, Michelle said. They could not believe this little baby had flipped completely around so she was now breach because beforehand she wasn't she was like moving lower everything was looking great I think Michelle said one nurse said she has never seen this happen before because of that they had to schedule an emergency c-section to get the baby out because she was flipped I'm not gonna go into all the details but of course I'm sure that was really nerve-wracking for Michelle and Nate they've never been in that situation and obviously a c-section from what I hear it's far more recovery and so there was a lot of that so I'm sure just like the nerves and everything was a little overwhelming. Needless to say, you guys, they did the C-section. Sweet little baby girl was born this morning at around, I think, 5.30 a.m. So Michelle was literally in labor. They went in the previous day, 6 a.m. She was in labor almost exactly 24 hours. We are just obviously so grateful. Little baby girl is healthy. Michelle is healthy. They are both doing really well right now. Michelle just sent a picture and can I just say I'm already in love. They still have not said the name yet. Obviously, I'm gonna let Nate and Michelle, you know, announce that. I'm not gonna give any of those details. But you guys, I am so excited. I was in tears this morning. I actually woke up this morning. It was right around like five, probably around 5.30. And I had texted Nate because I woke up and I was expecting to see like, we had the baby, like see photos and all that. And there was nothing. So I got really nervous and I was like, oh my goodness, like what is going on? So I texted Nate and he texted me back pretty quickly. He's like, we actually just had her. She's doing good. Michelle is like but crazy story of how everything happened. I am just so excited to be an aunt again. I cannot wait to meet this sweet little baby girl, just snuggle her. Of course, Michelle is so exhausted. She hasn't eaten anything in 24 hours, no sleep. So they are getting all situated, but that is the update. However, because she has now had a C-section, you guys, she's gonna be staying in the hospital a few more days. They were originally thinking one or two nights, but now because of the C-section, she actually can't come home until Wednesday. So I'm so grateful that I get to be here, help with Nora, because Michelle's gonna need a lot of help. C-sections are pretty intense from what I hear, and the recovery is pretty long as well. We are just so incredibly grateful. This sweet little baby girl is here, you guys. She's in our family, she's beautiful. I cannot wait for you to see her. I cannot wait to see her in person. I've only seen pictures so far. So that is the update with little baby burger. I will keep you updated on things. So I told Nate Michelle, don't don't worry a thing about Nora. We are good here. So hopefully they can get some rest and then I'll check in with them in a little bit. And today is also really special because it is Jared and mine's seven year wedding anniversary, you guys. I am bummed we are not together, of course, but we have already FaceTime. Jared was the sweetest ever. He actually stuck a card and a little gift with some treats and things like that. And then he also, I gotta show you guys this. He sent this on Amazon here. He's like, hey, there's a package on Amazon. You need to go pick up. So I went downstairs. You guys, he sent me these giant Reese's chocolates. 
<laughs> There's two in here. Look at this. It's like the size of my head. Anyways, he is so sweet. He's like, it was the one thing with heart. He knows how much I love Reese's. So that was so sweet of him. I actually made a little reel and I'll be putting that over on Instagram. I might put it here on shorts too. So you guys, I cannot think of a better way to celebrate our love than to welcome a new little baby that is gonna be so loved into the world, into our family. I can't wait just to eat her and just get all the newborn snuggles and all of that. So now that we know baby is here safely, mom is safe, they are resting, I'm gonna go have a lot of fun with little Nora today. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Guys, today is me and Brittany's official anniversary and it's crazy because we were spending it apart. I can't believe that. But I am so glad where she's at, out in New York, helping out Michelle, Nate, and Nora. And hello, we got a new baby girl in the house. Whoa, whoa. We are so excited for them. Oh my gosh, so she was born like super early this morning. I'm sure Brittany's already told you all this stuff. So the latest I've heard, Brittany's not been able to go see the baby yet, but she's hoping to soon. So I'm even especially grateful that Brittany is there helping out because for Michelle and Nate, that is a huge relief for them knowing that Nora is in good hands and completely taken care of. And speaking of Brit, you guys, I really looked out with her. Like, she's pretty darn incredible. Like, the fact that she is there right now on our anniversary speaks volumes about the type of person she is. I love her so much. I cannot wait to celebrate her and our anniversary when she gets back after Utah and that way we can just go celebrate in a really fun fashion. Finners, it's our anniversary today. Did you get us anything? Okay, guys, I just got to this park right here. It's really close to where we live. And and I love it. Finn loves it. I brought him with me, of course. And I brought this little remote control car, if you guys remember this thing. Finn loves chasing after this thing, and I even fitted this thing with a little action camera mount, and I brought my 360 camera. I figured Finn can chase after this, and this bad boy is gonna capture all of it. So you guys, if you actually remember this car, I got it from Bezger, and I love this thing. It's super fast. Finn is gonna go nuts the second I turn this on. <laughs> powerful this thing is. It goes so fast. <laughs> I think it goes like 45 miles per hour. Finn has been going nuts at it. That's a huge success. Ben absolutely loved it. He was chasing it back and forth like crazy. And now he knows exactly where this water's at. Good boy. I know I've talked about this backpack a bunch, but if you guys are interested at all, we have a discount code for this. I'll put it in the description below, but I use this thing as like a cooler backpack, the camera bag. Literally can do it all. It's amazing. Ben, you are going to town on that water, dude. <laughs> He is going to empty that out. All right, bro. I will get you a little bit more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nora, should we have a little picnic? Yeah, let's have a picnic. You guys look how fun the shots is. Blanket it rolls out. It's perfect for the grass or the sand or the park. We just got done playing in the sand, so now we are gonna have a little picnic at the playground. Oh my goodness, Nora, today is so fun, huh? Guys, I can't get over this. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful today, Nora. <laughs> Right, you guys we just got to the park and we are going to do some bubbles and play in the sand and have a little picnic it is another beautiful day out here my gosh the sun is shining you guys check out what's in the background right there look at those skyscrapers everywhere i just think it's so fun Norris to have memories coming to the park in the city digging in the sand you know no matter where you are Lucky. Childhood's different. Bippity boppity boo. All right, we're gonna have some fun at the park. Hi. Who is on my back? Who is on my back right there? Is that a Nora? You 
done, Nora. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to get her. You get it, Nora. You don't get on my back. You don't get on my back. Okay, I'm going to have to be a horsey. Oh no. You ready? <laughs> Nora, are you walking so big on the bench? Oh my gosh. She goes, I gotta be really careful. You gotta what? Oh, it's slippery. So we gotta be careful, huh? Be so careful. You'll bonk your head, yeah, so you gotta be really careful. You're doing a good job. You made it! You made it! Oh my god, good job! You guys, I'm laughing so hard. So there's this little water. It's like a stream that goes all the way down. I told Nora, no touching. So she laid down to get as close as she could. Is that so cool, Nora, the water? Okay, that is awesome. Do you see it go by? Yeah, no fishy. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love her. Well, guys, we made it back to the beach. On our way home, I was thinking to myself, I was like, why even go back? Like, there's no reason to go back home. Like, if you go back home, it's just gonna be the two of us sitting in the house with nothing to do. The weather out right now is seriously perfect, and luckily, I had all this stuff in the back of the car anyway, so instead of turn where we usually turn to go to our house, we decided to come straight to the beach. Finn right now is loving life. He's just laying in the sand. He was originally laying on my lap, so I was laying like this, and I mean, that's our view, so it was pretty beautiful. And then eventually, he just got off my lap, digged himself a little hole, and sat in it. What do you need to do? Do you need to sing to her? Oh, give her the bottle. That is nice. You are gonna be such a good big sister, huh, Nora? Nora, are you gonna be a big sister? Yes. Oh my goodness, you are gonna be such a good helper with mommy. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is so nice, Nora. You're gonna read the book to the baby. Easy, that fun. I can't. What? I gotta say. Alright guys, we are back home now. It got a little chilly after the sun went down and so we're like, you know what? Actually, it was more than, mainly me, let's be real. It was all me, but <laughs> I was all like, you know what? It's chilly, let's head on back. I will say this, Finn was actually a little bit chilly himself because he went from laying on the, on the cool sand to like getting really, really close up next to me. So I figured he was cold as well. I also just barely got off the phone with Brittany. She told me that her and Nora are having a really fun time, but she is also super, super busy. So we may not see her for the rest of the night, but she did say this, she is going tomorrow to go see our newest little niece, which I am so excited for. If you guys are not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button right now because it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Like I am so, so excited for her. It's gonna be awesome. Can't do it for us. Finn is literally exhausted. <laughs> I think he had a little bit too much fun chasing after that RC car and then playing at the beach. So not a bad way to spend our anniversary, even though 
Brittany and I are not together, which is definitely, you know, different, a little weird, but I am very, very grateful she's out there in New York. I mean, we have a new little niece. How exciting is that? And I just gotta say again real quick, it's really cool that their daughter's birthday shares the same day as our anniversary. I just love that. We're always gonna like forever share that. That is gonna do it for us. We're both exhausted here. So until next time, we love you. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.